how to wire a new residential construction. today on one of our job sites and I just want to talk about backfeeding uh, your house with a generator panel. Many people talk about backfeeding through their dryer or uh, backfeeding the power through from the generator to uh, to run it back through the house during an outage and I just wanted to say that that is absolutely 100% wrong and not the way to do it. Um, what will happen is if you backfeed your your host power through your a dryer plug or however you want to plug it in um, the power grid works both ways so if you forget to shut the main switch off and the generator feeds back through uh, to the grid what's going to happen is it's it's going to power the transformer that's out backwards and put uh, put power back onto the utility lines now it may not go for a distance and the generator may not long run long however if uh, personnel are working on repairing the issue, um, you could potentially electrocute them. And if you electrocute them and harm somebody, they're gonna trace it right back to you from where it came from. And then you're gonna be looking at uh, some serious issues. So don't do it, don't back feed, we don't recommend it at all. The proper way to do it is to use a generator panel like you see behind me here in, in this video. Um, so I'm just gonna show you real quickly about the proper way to, uh, the proper equipment that you should have. In other videos, we'll demonstrate how the equipment works, but this one's just a short video about uh, how uh, a generator panel, the equipment so itself. This is an actual generator outlet. This is where you would put your generator into. Um, and it is a three, uh, sorry, a four wire, a single phase outlet. So it's actually rated for 30 amps. It has 120, 240 volts with ground. So this is the cord that we would make up that you would plug your generator into in an outage. Um, they're, they're a good, uh, good product. They're made by Generac, and we'll put a link in the description uh, below this video. I'm just gonna walk into the house here and show you um, what the generator panel looks like. So here's the main panel. Uh, we're a little close here, and here's the generator panel. So the generator panel actually has uh, up to 18 circuits, which we can put all the essential loads in, and it has a transfer on the top of the generator panel. This is 30 amp, so it goes from utility or generator. And what this does is this prevents you from backfeeding the utility lines. So you cannot use both at once. Both of these won't turn on. It's either one or the other. So you can turn the utility off, flip it around, and then use the generator. Generator would be on this side, utility on this side. So that is the proper way to have a generator system running in your home. 